Hello friends, welcome to my channel Maths and Grammar. Let's learn about algebraic expressions from exercise 6.1 from the book of class 8. Add the following. We have to do the additions over here. So in these questions, each in each of the questions you find the sum group group divisions with the commas given over here. So that means each question has two or three algebraic expressions. Till here we have one algebraic expression, one more algebraic expression, one more algebraic expression. Every question has that way like two or three algebraic algebraic expressions. We need to add the following. So, let us do one by one now. It is addition question number question number one a b minus b c b c minus c a c a minus a b. So, we need to just add it a, a b minus b c plus b c minus c a plus c a minus a b. Then we have to group into like terms now collecting the like terms in other words. So, like term means the similar terms similar terms we have to collect it over here. So, this is term this is term this is term this term. So, we need to bring, bring together the like terms. So, a b one more a b will be here. So, minus a b. So, since this is together keep it under the bracket then plus it here then b c. So, let us bring the this plus 1 b c minus b c again plus it over here then c a c a minus c c a then it, it is called the grouping the like terms or the collecting the collecting collecting like collecting like terms. So, all the uh, similar uh, similar terms being collected over here. Then we can just minus it now a b minus a, a b will be 0 plus b c minus b c will be 0 plus c a minus c a will be 0. So, answer will be answer will be 0. So, this is the answer. We can let us do now the question number 3. I will do the little harder one question number 3 and the question number 5. The rest one I will show you with the clips. Look at here now question number 3. Question number 3. Question number 3 will be 7 x square minus 4 x plus 5 comma minus 3 x square plus 2 x minus 1 comma 5 x square minus x plus 9. So, we need to just add it now 7 x square plus i minus minus 4 x plus 5 plus minus 3 x square plus 2 x minus 1. Since there are two signs over here, just uh, put it under the bracket, then plus 5x square minus x plus 9. So, let us continue now. In, in second line, we have to collect the like terms. So, let us group the like terms now. Let us group the like terms. There are all the squares, let us bring here x, x1, the 7x square minus 3x square 3x square from here then again 5x plus 5x square. So, let us put together plus it then the second one second group without the square. So, for let us put the plus 1 first 2 2x minus 4x minus x collecting all the similar one. Then plus it that the remaining are the numbers. Now, numbers will be 
from here 5 5 plus 9 all the plus together minus 1 so this is the collection of the group terms this actually is supposed to give here because plus plus together but we understand over here uh, 7 plus the 7 plus 5 will be 12 because these are this also plus this also plus so 12 minus 3 will be 12 minus 3 will be 12 11 10 will be 9 so 9 x square plus this also minus this also minus so minus 4 x minus minus x will be 5 x so 5 x minus 2 x will be 5 x minus 2 x will be 3 x minus 3 x under the bracket because the, 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 there are two signs over here then uh, 5 plus 9 will be 5 plus 9 will be 14 14 minus 1 will be 13 so it will be 13 so we can just leave it like this but the let's uh, solve it in further man just uh, put it in uh, put it in the order 9 x square plus plus into minus will be 3 x plus 13 so this is the simple way of doing let us do the another last one question number 5 let us solve it 1 upon 2 x minus y plus x plus 3 upon 4 y minus z not z upon 2 plus y upon 2 plus z upon 2 now let us group the like terms so this x over here x again x over here so let us solve this 1 upon 2 x then bring over bring this plus x upon 2 plus x so this is the grouping of like terms so this x is finished now let us do the y1 y y there is one here one here then one here let us bring this first uh, do first this one uh, 3 upon 4 y plus y upon 2 then we have one more y is the minus y now let us group the z z over here z here plus it z upon 2 minus z so this is the grouping of 3 3 parts so here we have the denominators denominators we need to do the lcm so 2 and 2 lcm will be 2 and 2 lcm we know that 2 and 2 lcm will be 2 and 2 lcm will be definitely 2 answer so let us write 2 2 then we need to divide the denominator and the denominator if we divide these two there will be one answer then we need to multiply by the above number that is the numerator then 1 into 1 will be 1 so 1 into x will be 1x so just write the x so this is a similar if we divide it then you will find the 1 then uh, multiply by the above one there will be 1x but just write it x then here we do not have a denominator just di directly multiply it so, then x into 2 will be 2x so here we finish the x1 if we do the, the lcm of the denominator it will be just very easy for 2 so answer will be 4 so it's simple so just write here 4 then this is similar if we divide it, there will be only one answer then we multiply with the above num number then it will be 3 3 y plus if we divide this there will be two answer then 2 2 into y will be 2 y 
here only we can just just directly multiply it uh, like we have done over here then it will be 4 y now let us do the z1 just 2 then multiply 1 ok z z minus directly multiply it it will be how much 2 z 2 z so this is the simple way of doing then now we need to just calculate it 2 plus 1 plus 1 will be 4x 3y plus 2y will be 5y 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 minus 4y will be just 1y then plus it again 2z minus 1z will be 1z because minus is bigger so write 2 you put it under bracket because there is a, there are two signs over here then just cut it away it will be 2x plus y upon y, upon 4 plus into minus will be minus z upon 2 so this is the simple solutions of the question number 5 so this becomes lengthy that is why I did for you. The remaining will get in video clips. Hope you enjoyed the maths. Let us go ahead with the another questions. Thank you.